All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's weekly cryptic crossword. This is usually pretty straightforward compared to the daily cryptic. Comes out once a week, so it just came out Sunday night in the US, Monday or well, yeah, Monday morning in the UK. And I'm getting to play it on Easter Monday. Just had a little bit of Easter egg, sipping my coffee. Set by Hectens, that's not a name I recall seeing. Let's see what Hectens has in store for us. It's Irish. Well, I should have a head start on that. Coming back, following catastrophic start with epic finish for commentator. Yikes, I have no idea. I mean, the coming back suggests we reverse something, so that seems like wordplay. So commentator could be the definition. Catastrophic start seems like a, a C, the start of catastrophic. Epic finish could be the letter C, again, with epic finish, catastrophic start. But... So could it be a commentator beginning and ending with, oh, how about critic? Well, that certainly could be a commentator. Ah, yeah, so it's the word it and then IR for Ireland. Now, I also see IE, um, but I think as an abbreviation, you would use IR as opposed to the country code. So both of those are coming back um, following the first C, and then we have the other C. Happy with that. Almost certain to block acting ruler re-emerging. That sounds like re-emerging will be the definition. And there are various words that begin with R-E. I think it's going to be a word for certain that doesn't quite finish, maybe missing its last letter. And that's going to block, I think acting ruler might mean an anagram of ruler. Now, does blocking mean we put it inside of that anagram? Uh, but something like resurgent, oh, there is another word. I can't think of it. Anyway, let's try tackled, not tangled, round ducks. Well, ducks can be the letter O. Ah, uh, yes, so it's an anagram of not with two O's in the middle. No, that's took on. There we go. Uh, took on, tackled. Okay. Get Chopper with Charlie, also heading on trip, hosted by state. Wow, Get Chopper, could that be the definition? Cut a something or other. Charlie heading on trip could be a T. And then maybe it's all surrounded by a two-letter state abbreviation or just a short country name, something like Chad or Cuba. No, let's try um, have a go at hooligan getting hold of tree. Uh, well, I'm thinking a hooligan could be a lout. And so we have an L and then a UT. Oh, and an ash tree goes nicely in the middle to make lash out. Have a go at someone. 
All right. Oh, a resurgent. Is that right? Let's try it. Uh, so there's the almost certain, I think, the SUR. And that blocks, oh, a regent is an acting ruler, so it's not an anagram at all. All right, that makes sense. So this is, I think, going to be cut, cut something. Get chopper. I don't know what that, that means. Oh dear. All right, let's uh, look at this. Appreciated. Priest reading me last letter. Ooh. Oh, appreciated. Oh, sorry. So I think that's going to be the definition. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if um, reading me is a homophone indicator and last letter is Z, and so it's going to sound like Z. Um, priest could be FR. Reading me appreciated. Could that be appreciated in value? Or just saw the value in, appreciated something. No, I'm not saying it. Strict living sect discovered, imprisoned by revolutionary spies. Well, revolutionary sounds like wordplay. We're going to turn some spies around could be cia backwards and sect yeah i'm thinking it's going to be ascetic because it has some of those letters oh yeah there is cia backwards the only thing that's funny is sect is anagrammed discovered is that an anagram indicator but then definitely imprisoned by the cia going backwards I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one how about read aloud basic flyer uh, so i think it's a word for basic and when you read it aloud, it sounds like a word for a flyer. Well, a flyer could be a plane, which sounds like P-L-A-I-N. Now, appreciated, the starts with a P. Priest could be padre, pastor. No. Enjoying. Happy days at home, opening champagne with partner. Partner, of course, can be one of the bridge partners, which is one of the cardinal directions. Enjoying. At home could be in. Yeah, I'm wondering if it could just be enjoying happy days as the in, or could it be partner, something like in cahoots or in something? Because I'm wondering now if that could be prized, appreciated something. Priest reading me last letter. Well, you don't say Z, but but well, it actually is. So P R. Oops. Uh, let's try that again. Could that be right? Let's try seven down. 
consumer, I'm immediately thinking eater, get special rate after last time. Uh, so the last in time is the E, and then we anagram rate, so it's a special rate. Okay, comfort, friend, over foul play, by jury, disregarding judge. Well, my first thought was the definition might be comfort, and friend over might mean we take a word for friend and turn it over. Uh, and pal is the obvious synonym, and if we turn that over, we get lap. And a phrase for high comfort would be lap of luxury. Now, ah, yeah, so then after lap, we have an anagram of foul. So that's the uh, foul play. And that comes by... Oh, and then by is x, oh my goodness, as in 7 by 3 is 7x3. And then jury is the letters of jury, but taking out the j for judge. That's a bit of a stretch, but I'm happy to get it with all those nice starting letters. Oh, look at this one that goes all the way across. Part of her is upset with studies being just as expected. Well, just as expected, I can immediately think of a phrase and that's going to fit the word lengths would be par for the course. Let's see how this works out. Uh, so part of her is anagrammed and that's going to give us uh, nine letters so the first three words part of her and then studies could be a course that you're doing so uh, par for the course disease picked up passed quickly okay so we have another homophone Something that sounds like a disease, well, flu is one that comes in the crossword quite often, and that sounds like F-L-E-W for passed quickly. Let's have a look at this long down one. Indicate concern as King tries a ramble after lunch. And I think indicate concern might be the definition king tries a ramble well king could be cr charles rex and then maybe um an anagram of tries a a ramble Although we do have after lunch, so something for lunch would have to come first. What would be an expression for indicate concern? I presume that's going to be an A. Uh, I'm not sure. And then uh, we do have. If it is an anagram of tries A, but we have CR first, and crease us something or other. Yeah, I'm saying something like furrow or brow. Is it a Grease a brow or... Hmm. Now I'm going to need some more for that, I think. Get in shape as sole new women's rowing crew. 
I hope it's not going to be something to do with rowing. Is it six people in a boat? You call them a six. But of course, it might just be simply wordplay. Rowing crew. Um, you can be N, women's can be W. Nope, not seeing it. Uh, here's one with a U something T. Lying. Article in Paris match. Well, I'm immediately thinking that's just going to be uh, uh, the French for A. Heartily, <laughs> excuse me, heartily, hurtful, rubbish. Well, I'm immediately thinking of if we rubbish the letters in hurtful and we want something that means lying, I think we it's just untruthful, which is um, pretty straightforward anagram of hurtful. Ah, but we are missing a T, and so it's actually lying article in Paris, and then match heartily says take the innermost or center letter of match, which is a T, and then rubbish or anagram hurtful. All right, now our Tokyo gangsters showing physical and mental discipline. Ah, so it's a hidden clue. Within Tokyo gangsters, we have yoga. So it's a discipline to improve yourself physically and mentally. I think that's it. Spy is not old enough to comprehend obscure books. Wow. I'm thinking for is not old enough with that you, something like underage, under, under something, not old enough to comprehend. No, where does the spy come into it? No, I'm not saying it. Finally certify. Well, that sounds like the Y that we have at the start of the word. Gross earned. So maybe we anagram earned. When accounts close. Ah, uh, yes, so sure enough, they close at the year end. All right, read out, note Romeo's hidden inside fan. I think I need some letters for this. I'm thinking the definition is going to be read or read out. And we're going to put a note, which could be an N or it could be A through G, one of the musical notes, and an R. And we're going to put it inside I think a five letter word for fan. Nope. Jumper has ruined front. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, something about the J's fluid. Uh, there's sometimes when I think of things with a, a smell that can bring me back that uh, just makes me cough. Jumper has ruined front covered in J's fluid. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, yeah, maybe a fluid is an anagram indicator of J E Y E S. Oh, and of course, a, a type of jumper or sweater, as it would be said in America, is a jersey. And it's the front of ruined, the R. All right. Let's try these downs. Male. Bird, finally, spotted on garden tool. Um, 
bird finally are actually finally spotted either one would indicate a d on garden tool well, a spade or um oh uh, a rake so it is the um final letter of spotted on the rake gives you a male bird a drake all right so this could be under oh maybe spy is the definition because i'm thinking of undercover agent is not old enough Ah, so we do have underage to comprehend obscure. Yeah, I'm wondering if underage takes in cover, meaning to obscure something would be to cover it. And then we have NT at the end for the New Testament, which are books of the Bible. That is it. All right, strangely, well, looking at the letters we have, that must be oddly, not even, so that would be um, odd, and lazy on vacation, as we've seen before, vacation means emptying out the innermost letters, and so we're just left with the outside letters L and Y. How about accommodation? Divides into four. Wow. Um, I'm thinking something like quarter. Oh, yeah, quarters, of course. <laughs> I'm thinking something very like quarters. Um, your living quarters and divided into four into quarters. All right, let me go back up to the uh, top. Let's see on this. Oh, get a chopper. Get a chopper. Of course, a chopper is a slang for a tooth. So I think it's cut a tooth. So Charlie also heading on trip. Oh, also is two. And heading on trip is a T. And then uh, hosted by a state UH. So there's our Charlie. Sorry, that's C. Then we have also, hold on, I am getting a little Charlie. Also, heading on trip. Oh, it's actually the whole of Utah. I was thinking it might just be some letters, but the whole of Utah. There we go. Yes. I made a meal out of that. My apologies. All right. Um, where to? Very pleased with former taxi worker. Ooh, well... Ah, I think they're, ah, yeah, so very pleased. I'm thinking when I saw the former, I immediately thought of X and tried to think of a word for very pleased and exuberant comes to mind. Wasn't sure of the spelling of it, to be honest, at the end there. But um, a taxi worker could be an Uber ant. Uh, so that's that. Now, travel, blog, tour around Thailand. Hmm. Not exactly sure. I presume it's going to be travel, blog, and then somehow tour around, goes around Thailand, or... I'm not seeing that one. 
In combat, manhandled, masked superhero. Well, that's a very easy one. It's a hidden clue, but I think the setter, probably when they saw combat and manhandled run together, they thought they couldn't resist it. So there's Batman hidden in there. Oh, I never looked at this one somehow. Care for daughter between 10 and 2 with wife going out. Wow. Um, I think it might be care for is the word. And a daughter is D. What's between 10 and 2? Well, noon would, uh, but they could have said between 11 and 1. Uh, lunchtime. See, with wife going out, I'm thinking whatever you call that lunchtime has a W and you take the W out. Or alternatively, the definition is going out, which could be going out as in extinguishing or going out together, doing a line, as they used to say in Ireland, they were doing a line. Um, has a very different meaning nowadays, of course. Um, tone, tone up, care for, tend to, ah, <laughs> tend to, of course. So, Daughter goes between T-E-N and T-W-O, but we remove the W. Oh my goodness, tend to. All right, now this read out note, Romeo's hidden inside fan. Oh, well, I'm now wondering if fan could be the definition because I see admirer. Let's see. Read out. Oh, me, I think, is the um, note. Whoops, sorry about that. Do, re, me, and Romeo. And it's all inside an anagram of read. So read is out or anagrammed. But the note and Romeo are hidden inside. All right. Now, travel, blog, tour around Thailand. What's that last word? Some vowel going in there. Oh, um, it's not one of those vehicles that go around Thailand and other Asian capitals. No, I don't think so. Um, oh, um, I'm immediately thinking of create a stir would fit. I'm not exactly sure how it fits the wordplay. A ramble after lunch. Oh, I think it might be CR for the king. And then we have lunch. And then tries a rambles or is anagrammed after it. I just don't know about create a stir. I always think of that similar to raise a fuss, raise a stink. Does that really indicate concern? Well, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm not sure about that one. All right, let's look again at enjoying happy days at home. Opening champagne, I think, might just be the C. 
with a partner. What is um, a word for, let me pause and sip my coffee that's getting cold and think about that one. Ah, yes, yeah, so I was just thinking about phrases, about enjoying, you know, happy times. They say somebody is in clover. And so it is at home is in, opening of champagne is the sea, and your partner is your lover. All right. And then I also had a thought on travel blog tour around Thailand. <laughs> I, have, I always try and overcompensate for my Irish TH sound by emphasizing the H in Thailand, but I think that's wrong. I think it's just Thailand. Um, but I was just looking at those letters and I thought, oh, how about globetrot could be to travel. And um, yeah, so it is an anagram. Oh, it must be the um, the country code for Thailand, or is, maybe it's just a T. Is that, is that correct that you can just indicate Thailand with a T, or am I missing something else? Anyway, let's now, ooh, I like that G there. That should be helpful. Get in shape. As sole new women's rowing crew. Uh, let me pause and think about it. All right, I was thinking about what's going to come between the G and the T, and I was going through the vowels, but I thought, what about uh, GHT? And then I thought, oh, maybe height or weight. And of course, to get in shape could be to lose weight. As soul, oh, is anagrammed. So we have a new soul. And then we have women's. Oh, and I said a rowing crew is six, uh, showing my ignorance of rowing. It is eight. An eight is a rowing crew. Oh, my God. I'm sure you all knew that. Anyway, take pity on me. I uh, haven't seen a uh, rowing race in uh, about 40 years all right, um, let's uh, check all. Yep, everything seems to still be there. I try and uh, do the quiptic within 30 minutes, but it took a little bit longer today. But that's all right. It was a fun solve and nothing, I think, unfair or too difficult. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.